I'm Sal Marzilli, owner and head chef of the Old Canteen Restaurant on Federal Hill. Today I'm going to take you inside for a tour and we'll take a look at what everybody's been talking about for 70 years. Well, my father was a great restaurateur. He opened this business in 1956. This is the dining room and nothing has changed. It remains the way it was in 1956. My big question when I was young, when I asked my dad, why the color pink? With the pink lighting in the dining room and the pink walls, it gives a reflection on people's skins and it makes their skin look a little healthier. My dad was tough. He was tough on me as his son learning the operation. And until the day he died, it had to be his way. And I respect that. on a Saturday night, a busy, busy Saturday night. The dining room in here is more or less a play. It's like going to the theater. It's where everything has to be just perfect. Once you get behind those doors in that kitchen, it's a whole nother world. I own a veal cacciatore. That's where you hear sometimes the foul language. That's where you hear a little bit of screaming and laughing and joking. So it's like night and day between the two types of, the two things that are going on in this business, all trying to create this play. It is pretty much organized chaos. And I started working the dishwasher area. Then I started making salads. And then when I got to the hot line, they started letting me put pasta in a basket and dunking it in the water and putting it on a plate. As the years went by, um, I became head chef. I'm gonna just give you a little idea of uh, the menu and, and what the menu looked like. Um, you know, back in the day, shrimp cocktail, 90 cents. This dish right here, the broiled tenderloin steak with mushroom caps. Now, if you look at our menu today, it has veal, tenderloin steak a la Frank. Until I hear you at the door. When that was named after Frank Sinatra, because he used to come here quite often after he did his shows at the Warwick Musical Theater or down at the Civic Center, he used to come here for dinner. Saturday night is the loneliest night of the week. All right, now we are at the bar or the lounge. And uh, if these walls had ears, there's been all kinds of characters, the politicians, some of the people from Federal Hill that may be a little bit on the nefarious type. Bookmakers have been here in the early days. Raymond Petriaca was born next to my father. They were born on the, right, right on the same block. So they grew up together, going through grade school together. They were friends. And they'd be sitting next to the mayor or a judge. When they're in the old canteen, they, they're here to have a good time, eat, drink, and be merry. You know, we're Switzerland. And this is uh, the table that Buddy Cienci, and the chair that Buddy Cienci has, well, sat in pretty much right back to the uh, middle 1960s. He spent every night before every election just sitting in here alone, discussing things with my father, talking doodling on the tablecloth. As you can see, I mean, there's a picture of City Hall signed by him in the back of me, which has got a quote on it. Just remember, the toe you step on today may be connected to the ass you have to kiss tomorrow. Typical Buddy CNC quote. For a couple of weeks after his funeral, we left this table empty with a candle burning on it. Uh, just uh, in memory of him. And this right here behind me is one of my favorite spots in the restaurant. This is the spot that my father stood for almost 52 years and greeted every one of the customers every night of the week. How often do you think about your dad when you're working? Every day, every day. This is his baby. I mean, this is what he created. 
When I was younger, my father pushed me away from this life, but I want out. I've been here, you know, 47 years. Uh, I've been married almost 40 years now, and I have two children. When you put that much time into a business like this, there are other things in your life that you're not focusing on. And I think uh, he may have wanted me to have a life where I could juggle the both evenly. This restaurant hasn't allowed me to do that, but I loved every minute of it. So I'm gonna try to walk away when I do have a buyer. Hopefully somebody takes the restaurant and they run it the way it always has been. Or maybe something else here, I don't know. But I think the old canteen should remain here forever.